Hi friends, so this is again a research more than anything else uh, which is we are trying to load data from the staging to main production tables. Uh, the data looks something like this. We have three tables uh, which have which hold claims uh, which is of the type uh, claim underscore stage A, B and C. The counts of each of this table is huge. It's around 20 million each. So. So roughly the counts of each of this table is 20, 20 and about 20 million records. And, and then we will try to load this data into our main claims table. The current tables, the staging tables are hosted in the work DB which we can call it our staging box, staging database. And the main TRAN data holds, database holds the claim uh, table which is the production, uh, you can call the production table for all the claims. Now we are just trying to uh, move the table uh, move the records now what is the best strategy and how uh, we can do that so so the schema of all the tables is, is more or less same uh, we have a primary key on the id column i mean if if uh, i could just show you the content for one of the tables it looks like this it has the city a claim amount uh, this is a fictitious table so uh, there's a claim number there's a date transaction ID claim amount and the city where uh, from where the claim is so this is this is again a fictitious table which I have built so I stop it's there and uh, now let's see how we are doing ideally uh, I have created a three uh, three different strategies for uh, importing so ideally what this would be a, a scenario where there would be see uh, there is a sequence container and there is a task A which loads the data from stage A which loads the data from stage A to the main table uh, to the main production table so we have we are using the work DB database and it, it is claim stage A and it loads data to your claims table likewise similarly is the case for B and C where we are loading data from the stage and then into the main claims table so this is a sequential approach uh, also what I have done is this is an insert so this is a bulk insert that we are trying to do so what I am trying to see is I have arranged a data flow task uh, three data flow tasks in parallel and then I am using a data one data flow task with three parallel threads so let's take a look at each of them this is nothing but the data flow task which uses uh, which takes uh, the table claim stage and then it dumps it into the claims table and also parallelly what it does is we also are going to run b uh, where b will try to insert into uh, the claim main claims table now the question arises for locking uh, for most of my view viewers i would i would like to question will there be a locking in this scenario what do you suspect will there be a locking from when we are trying when when there are three tables which are trying to dump data into one single table at a time what do you think the answer the answer is no there wouldn't be any locking as such because inserts is is uh, is a mere push so it would not create any locking in in such scenario so and the next here and next thing here that we see is a, is a uh, one data flow task with three threads so here we are going to use instead of three data flow tasks we are using one with three threads where we are going to insert all the three in one one go in one thread so that's all so in this scenario I'm disabling this this and also just to remind you what we have uh, what we are going to uh, see here is ideally we can use one connection and and through connection pooling basically it will it will try to insert here what we what we have done is we are using three connections if you see here this is going to use b underscore b so it's going to use tran data b likewise it is for c because we are trying to see if it if it executes faster with when we move it away from connection pooling to dedicated connections 
so I'm, I'm building this package and so it has been built I'm going to run it from this directory so let's try to do that Let's see how much time this takes because ideally when we are trying to monitor the time the best way would be to do uh, a check from the command prompt so let's use the bits I think I uh, we need to truncate the table because there was already data existing. So let me try to truncate. Uh, sorry, rebuild the table. Right, the destination table. I mean, and let's try to run it again. I'm pausing this video now and, and I will resume once this insert has been has been done. Right friends, so, so as you can see the insert has been done and it took 52 seconds for uh, this approach to execute in sequentially and, and, and put all the around 60 million records if you see into the table. So. I'm, I'm deleting this, uh, dropping and recreating this table all over again for the next approach to run. So let's let's just 52 seconds for serial. We'll just take a note of this. Now what I do is I disable this approach and enable this one. I'm building this all over again. right so we've started so I'm putting this video again on pause right friends so this approach has taken us 49 seconds as such to execute and dump data with three data flow tasks all in parallel so if we check again we call it 49 seconds all data flow in parallel so let's try to count right so all the data has been pumped into our production table now let's try to disable this and enable the thread approach and see how this performs for us I did clean up the table right. So I'm again pausing this video. Let's see. Right friends, so 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 this thread approach for us has taken 46 seconds as such to execute to success. Uh, so if we compare it So the data has been pumped. What we see here is it has taken 46 seconds all 1 DFT 3 threads. So this is the comparison chart. What I want to see is there is no particular hard and fast 
uh, rule as such it depends upon the hardware configuration that the la there is I'm using a, a simple laptop here if we have a powerful server I'm just trying to give you options uh, in terms of performance tuning of a particular package of a particular approach you should consider all these three because there might be scenarios where one of them uh, if with a particular hardware when we have uh, a good hardware the threads threads approach is, is by far the best I would suggest uh, and but but the only problem is it is going to consume more of uh, the memory there's uh, and the data flow task all in serial would be a good approach when when you have serialized primary keys where the dump could be very fast uh, in, in such scenario in, in, in the scenario like this it is quite fast because all of them are arranged sequentially uh, in terms of the primary key so the retrieval is very fast but when we have a primary key uh, which is not of type int uh, but uh, but of a different one uh, uh, these this the data flow uh, all serial could be much slower so I'm just giving you three approaches which you can take care uh, and which you can uh, take on, take into account and, and see the performance of each of them first and secondly I'm also giving an option to also I'm not showing you or com comparing it, it, it here we can also use actually not connection pool we can use the same connection and see but by far uh, connection pool uh, when we try to connection pool or use the same connection amongst all the threads your execution time will be slower so I have I have directly shown you the three connections uh, with the three connection when we have, when I am running in parallel instead of connection pooling so try to take into account uh, these instances while you are trying to uh, bring out parallel pa while you are trying to bring out uh, the data in bulk from the staging boxes uh, from the staging tables into your main SQL server production tables uh, thanks friends